Essential oils are pretty hot right now, but do they really work? I mean, just about everyone who recommends them to you gets a commission. This video series is an unbiased, sales-free look at the most common uses of essential oils and if there is any science to back up the health claims. First, let's quickly cover the fundamentals. An essential oil is a concentrated liquid that contains a plant's chemical properties. The oil is termed essential in that it contains the essence of the plant's fragrance and aroma, or its chemical compounds. Now, each type has a different chemical composition that affects how it smells, how, it, how it's absorbed, and how it affects us. Okay, so let's look at two popular health claims surrounding the use of essential oils. To my surprise, there's actually been quite a lot of petri dish studies looking at the antibacterial effects of essential oils. They appear to kill many common bacterial and fungal strains, such as E. coli and Candida. They can also make a useful antiseptic mouthwash. This may all sound very promising, but there's only so much we can take away from test tube and petri dish studies on bacteria. Uh, a shot of tequila poured in a petri dish will kill all the bacteria as well. It's the same if you were to swish tequila around in your mouth. This is why it's quite an extraordinary claim to say that inhaling or ingesting essential oils will kill bacteria in your body or improve your immune system or flush toxins. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Rodent studies have found that the inhalation of essential oils under painful or stressful conditions can lead to a noticeable neurological and behavioral response. So the fragrance compounds do have a direct effect on the brain, well, at least in mice. The potential psychological effects in humans has also been researched to some extent. Studies tend to involve cancer or heart surgery patients in hospital. In the year 2000, a large review concluded aromatherapy is ineffective for treating anxiety, and it seems opinion has not changed since. The latest blinded control trials using oxygen masks are quite telling. Inhalation of essential oils has not been found to have any clinical effects on anxiety levels in adults or children, at least after heart surgery or stem cell transplantation. Other studies focused on different mental health conditions or topical treatment where you apply it to your skin uh, have found very conflicting results. It, it seems that for every study I found that showed a positive benefit, there was one that showed no benefit. If you still aren't convinced, a recent review of 201 relevant studies concluded that out of the 10 that were actually good quality, aromatherapy does not improve high blood pressure, depression, anxiety, pain relief, or dementia. As you can see, many varieties of essential oils likely help to clean wounds and perhaps even treat infections. But once we venture into more serious health conditions, such as anxiety or, or mental health issues, then the proof really starts to fall short. I didn't find any relevant studies looking at heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, or asthma, or, or other major health conditions, uh, but it just doesn't seem plausible that essential oils could help. My best advice before you buy is to ask questions and think critically about how extreme the health claims are, because if it sounds too good to be true, unfortunately it is. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment uh, and maybe even subscribe to the channel. But otherwise, be sure to watch the next video where I look at the useful uses, the useful uses of essential oils.